the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the season of Advent is a time of invitation towards a genuine repentance and renewal. And our gospel reading today speaks about the healing of the paralytic man. And Jesus saw the fate of the crowd, those who brought the paralytic by the, through a stretcher. And when Jesus saw their fate, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. And Jesus said, To the paralytic man, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. We have to look at the healing story of the gospel today. It speaks about the heart of the Christian faith is the forgiveness of sins. And we always profess this in the creed or the credo or the I believe. And we say, I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. We say in here, while we have the power to forgive others, we need to be forgiven ourselves by the one who has the authority to forgive. Jesus is reminding us that as we seek forgiveness, then we have also to ask forgiveness from God. Then we could also forgive other people. The genuineness of our reconciliation and repentance to God is that not only that we seek God's forgiveness, but impels us that we should also render forgiveness to our brothers and sisters. And also we are asked to open ourselves to God's forgiveness, especially in this time of Advent. The penitential character of the season leads us to examine our consciences and also invites us towards a genuine renewal and conversion. We have heard in the gospel reading today when Jesus says to the paralytic, when Jesus says to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven. And we'd like also to hear these words. When we go for confession, when we hear the very words of the priest, when he says, your sins are forgiven. In this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are once again reminded to seek for healing. For we know we have a lot of woundedness. The sick that we, we actually experience or bear is not only physical sickness or bodily sickness, but more than, and this is our spiritual sickness, in which we need God's healing of our woundedness, of our memories, and most especially of what we have gone through for the past few months and past few years. May this invitation once again remind us to seek for God's healing. And this is the healing, not only our bodily ailments, but to heal our heart, our spirit, and our mind. May the season of Advent lead us towards a genuine renewal and repentance and healing. Amen. <laughs>